Alfie Bo, who's previously dazzled audiences in Les Mis at London's The O2 in the West End, and on YouTube, is finally bringing his Jean Valjean to Broadway. I caught up with the Tony winner at a recent rehearsal. The summers fly one by one, how soon they fly on and on, and I am old and will be gone. Alfie, you be, you're back on Broadway. I am. Yeah. Wow, welcome, welcome back to New York. Thank you. You were in La Boheme. Yeah. You were in Baz Luhrmann's, you're a Tony winner. Oh well, yeah, Tony Honor win. I was, I was fortunate with that. I've, the whole cast were awarded. Uh, yeah, that was one of those cast. It was a, cool instances where yeah. everybody, everybody just got like, you get a Tony, you get a Tony. Yeah, yeah. You <laughs> get an actual Tony? Giving them out like candy. Do you get a Tony? <laughs> I did, yeah. You have a Tony, yeah, everyone has a Tony. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, awesome. That you don't show. have it with you, do you? No, no, I don't normally, I, I usually carry it around and just, just <laughs> on a big chain around my neck. But, <laughs> <laughs> but now you are a Jean Valjean. Oh yeah. my God, this is yeah. like, they're like one of the greatest roles ever. Yeah, I'm thrilled. This is a, it's a role that's very close to my heart and something that um, I've, uh, you know, that has changed my life. You know, it's the, yeah. this show and this, this character has, has turned my career around for me. Yeah. A lot of Broadway fans haven't seen you actually do the song, I bet they've seen you on YouTube do it. Yeah. Right? Like yeah, it's, yeah, a, yeah. it's a popular YouTube search. Yeah. Alfie Bo, <laughs> bring him home. Right? I mean, yeah, like, the, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, because you got to do it and it was documented, right? On the the, the, on the big concert event. 25th, yeah. Yeah, the 25th, 25th anniversary. anniversary. Yeah, yeah. What, what was that like? I mean, was that your first exposure to it? To Jean Valjean? It was pretty much. Yeah. yeah I, I had done a two week run in the West End prior to the concert, okay, right. just to really embody the role. Um, but it was my first sort of attempt at playing the whole show, you know, doing the whole yeah. show. And um, thoroughly enjoyed it. It was something that, that I, I really connected with, connected with the character, connected with his emotions and his intentions throughout the whole show. And playing it on that stage at the, uh, at the um, O2 Arena yeah. in front of 28,000 people was, Crazy. was amazing, I've got to say. It was pretty spectacular. So, I love your name. We don't get a lot of Alfies. Alfies no. We don't get a lot of Alfies on Broadway. It's very exciting. <laughs> For, tell me your full name. My, my middle bit as well. Your full name, I read it on Wikipedia. <laughs> it's uh, Alfred Giovanni Roncalli Bo. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> so, what Th I found. Thanks for letting me announce that. I'm going to be ridiculed now. <laughs> but, but actually, so, well, first of all, you must get a lot of like, what's it all about Alfie yeah, jokes. Yeah, I get that. That's yeah, like a regular. Yeah. yeah. yeah okay. it's, quite, yeah. it's quite funny, but I, just before I came over to New York, I was, I was doing a, sh a show, a concert with Burt Bacharach. Oh, and, um, well, you basically are asking he for was, it. Yeah, <laughs> that was one of the highlights of the show. And he sang Alfie, and then I was introduced after that nice. <laughs> straight to do another song. Have you ever sung it? Never. Do you, no, refer, you refuse I would, to? I would rather not. Too yeah, obvious. I would Too try and avoid it if I can. When you were a kid, there was a show out there called Alf. Oh, the about, alien. About yeah, an alien, yeah, about yeah, a furry yeah, alien. And yeah. didn't you actually call yourself Alf first? Yeah, yeah. My, my, um, That's crazy. You know, my, my name from school, you know, from, being, from infant school through until, you know, secondary school was always Alf. Even at work, I got called Alf all the time, you know. Um, not, not alien life form. That's what the yeah, other one. Yeah, when that, mo when that program yeah. was out, I got that a lot. Yeah, which again, <laughs> was really annoying. <laughs> There's no part alien about you. No. no. <laughs> not as I know of. <laughs> Maybe. <I don't> know. <laughs> so, getting to do Les Mis. Okay, so. There's a beautiful new production on Broadway. Yeah. Les Mis, very fresh. I, lo I love sort of the, the fresh take on it. Yeah. You know, when it, when it arrived, it was like, oh, it felt, it felt so like, like a brand new. Yeah. You know what I mean? In so many ways. And so Ramin Karimloo yeah. has been doing the role. And I yeah. know that when you did that 25th anniversary concert, yeah. he was actually on on He was on right? yeah. Right. So yeah. you guys have known each other for a while. We've known each other for a while. After the O2, I went into the West End to play Valjean, right. and then he, he took over from right. me after I left. Right. When I first saw Les Mis when I was a kid, Jean Valjean was typically uh, a guy that looks like he maybe hung out at Burger King, <laughs> okay. maybe like a few extra pounds, right. like, you know, there's a, and now I'll Jean just Valjean. just give Colin Wilkinson a ring and tell him you said that. Just <laughs> <laughs> so now Jean Valjean is, uh, maybe thanks to Hugh Jackman, right, for the movie. No, maybe that's what started it, do I don't know. Now you have to look all. fit. I mean, Absolutely. you have to look like ripped. Jean Nothing Valjean's was. ripped. <laughs> Like Jean Valjean's like a, like a monster it, now. It, it helps, it helps um, to be fit, it helps to stay healthy. I mean, I, I personally started working out before I got the role of this um, to do on Broadway, um, just because I 
turned, got into my 40s and uh -huh. decided to try and exercise for the first time in my life. Um, but no, it does help. It helps to be uh, fit, helps to be strong because you've got a lot of carrying around to do of people. Right. You know, picking up a fontine and carrying Marius through the sewers and things like that. And, and there's lots of fight scenes, so it's, it's good to be a little physical. And there's also that, um, there's currently that moment that's projected on screens all over Times Square of Ramin Karimloo ripping his shirt open. Yeah, that's rubbish. So is that it's daunting? What? Are you going to rip your shirt? Is that going to be daunting? Daunting. Like, do you have I've to live up to that? I've got a far better body than Ramin Karimloo. <laughs> Don't ask me questions <laughs> like that. That's stupid. That's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I won't be ripping the shirt off. But are you hitting the gym hard because you're doing like Miss on Broadway? I'm, I'm hitting it hard. Yeah, I've been I've been working out for about you know a good year now, so I, I feel in good shape. Um, I'm going to keep everybody in suspense on how my pecs are looking and how my abs <laughs> are. But I, I don't feel it's necessary to rip your shirt off in, right. in this sort of way. I think I think personally, what I try and do is is um, attack the role from the inside you know, and get the emotions right first before the physicality yeah, see what in periods. Yeah, 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 exactly. You know, you never know. In fact, the ripping of the shirt st um, start, w was started with me in the West End when I did rip my shirt oh, like at the end of the West End. I oh, really? It all the way down. It's all you? You started yeah. it? And then Ramin took over from me and then just adapted it to So you, you're the originator of it? It's, I'm the originator of it. <laughs> it has nothing to do with Ramin at all. <laughs> okay, so bring him home. Uh, we're hearing you sing a little of that today. Yeah, what what yeah. is it like to actually sing that song? I mean, like... <sighs> Well, man, it's a beautiful song. It's a, it's, a, it's a wonderful song to sing. Everybody that has played this role brings something new to that piece. Yeah. And it's lovely to watch other people's interpretations of it. It's great to have seen um, Ramin's recently because um, there's, there's a different spirit, a different mm -hmm. energy to it. It's great to have seen John Owen Jones do it. Again, a different energy. Um, and I try and bring something new to it too, you know. I'm thrilled to be singing it again. It is a bit of a pressure in the show every night. I yeah. have to make sure that I'm really on it and really honest with it. It's a real song where you have to bear your honesty and your sincerity. There's no ripping of the shirt of that bit. But when it, when it comes to it, when it comes to singing that piece, you are in the moment. You mm. are in that, on that barricade. You are playing that role and you are, con it's, it's a, not a song about yourself. It's a song about Marius. It's, it's, it's a prayer, it's like really pleading to um, protect this child, you know, this kid who's in love with your daughter and, 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 and who he wants to survive, to, to take care, to protect Cosette because he knows he's, he's, he's coming to the end of his life. It's a real heartfelt song that, uh, that pulls at the heartstrings, really tests every emotion that Valjean has got. Um, and and you, you, within that song, there's elements of, of fear, there's elements of anger as well, you know, the ang anger to God that, you know, you have the power to make mm. this happen. You have the power to, to see this guy through this battle. Give me the strength to protect him. Don't let him die. Don't let this life be ruined. And, and, and he, he really does um, plead with God and ask for his guidance, ask for his protection. So it's a, such a deep, heartfelt, emotional song that you, that you really have to, you know, you really connect with when you're in that moment. Mm. Well, I can't wait to see you sing it on Broadway. Thanks. At the Imperial Theatre. Cheers, thank you. Good to have you back on Broadway. Thank you very much. Cheers. Nice Sorry for the legs exposure. Then. That's all right. It's not on your job outside. Here you go. Like you came from the gym. <laughs> it all fits. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Let him Oh